there is definitely some chemistry between us. Think about it. How did you feel the last time you were out in nature? Within minutes of stepping into this magnificent green space, our physiology begins to change. Stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline begin to drop, and the relaxation response, the rest and digest response, begins to increase. There was an amazing study from the United Kingdom published in the year 2018 where they looked at over 140 other studies and a total of 290 million people. And what they found was that increased time in nature was associated with a lower risk of diabetes type 2, cardiovascular disease, premature death. It also helped with insomnia, lowering stress, improving cognition, uh, improving immunity. I mean, the health benefits of being out in nature are extensive. One of the benefits of being out in nature is exposure to sunlight. And you may say, well, so what? <laughs> but it is one of the most important things that we can do for the proper functioning of our physiology is to be exposed to daylight every single day. One of the important things that exposure to sunlight does is that it helps to reset our circadian rhythm. The capacity of the brain to recognize that it's nighttime and it's time to go to sleep or that it's daytime and it's time to be awake. Many of my patients present with problems with sleep and my first prescription to them is making sure that they go outside every day, five, 10 minutes of exposure to sunlight. Some of the added benefits is production of vitamin D. When sunlight hits our skin, our body makes vitamin D. Vitamin D is one of the really important vitamins and it's also a hormone in our physiology. Vitamin D helps with our cognition, it helps with immunity, it helps with bone and kidney health. It's actually one of the things I do on all my patients. When they come in to see me, is I check their levels of vitamin D. Vitamin D is so important, we will have a separate video addressing the health benefits. Can you believe it? I made it through four years of medical school and four years of psychiatric residency without any education at all on the health benefits of nature. In fact, it was Yogini Kaliji who first opened my eyes to the health benefits of nature. Research evidence shows that being exposed to nature transforms our brain waves. During typical waking consciousness, our brain is in beta, and being exposed to nature migrates those beta waves into alpha. Alpha state is associated with calmness, relaxation, meditation, improved immunity, healing, super learning, and it's actually the state where we need to be before we fall asleep at night. So alpha is where we want to be. There is real magic amongst the trees. In Japan, they call it Shrinrin Yoku, or forest bathing and it is one of the best things that we can do for our immunity. 
Studies from Japan show that, for example, people who went out to the forest for three days and two nights, did an hour of walking in the woods in the morning and an hour in the afternoons, had an increase in their natural killer cells that lasted for 30 days. Now these natural killer cells are important because they are the ones that hunt down the viruses and also the cancerous cells. They were so excited about this finding that said, well, what happens after just one day of being out in the woods? And what they found was that after just one day out in nature amongst the trees, one hour walking in the morning, one hour in the afternoon was enough to increase the level and activity of natural killer cells for the next seven days. So how is this possible that just being exposed to trees can improve our immunity? So what they found was that these trees make substances to keep away the bugs and other pests. And these substances are the ones that when we inhale them, it stimulates our immune system. The name is phytoncides. Phyto from plants and sides from exterminate. So these are substances that the trees make in order to stay healthy. And when we breathe them in, it improves our own immunity. To reap the health benefits of being in nature, you don't necessarily have to be in a beautiful park like this surrounded by green space. If you happen to be up north and there is a beautiful snowy landscape and, and the sun is shining, please get out there. Let the expansiveness of the winter landscape expand your mind. Your brain will thank you for it. Another beautiful natural space is the beach. Whenever we step into the beach, you immediately feel the freshness of the air, the abundance of negative ions, which purify the air and increase levels of serotonin in our brain. In another study, they looked at what happens after surgery. And what they found was that those patients who either A, had a plant in their room, or B, had a window that overlooked nature, they recovered faster, required less pain medications, and they left the hospital sooner. Remember that research says that we need to spend approximately two hours per week in beautiful nature scapes. That translates to between 15 and 20 minutes a day. So you can make it happen. Take the time to be in nature every day.